What is going on guys, Shaddix here, and welcome to the very first episode of my very first Nuzlocke randomizer as well, because I really wanted to do a Nuzlocke for the first time, but I also wanted to do a randomizer for the first time. So I'm doing them both at the same time on one of my favorite games, Pokemon Sapphire version. Absolutely love it. Now if you don't know what a randomizer, or a randomizer, if you don't know what a Nuzlocke is, basically it's a game rule you set where you have to catch the first Pokemon of every single route, and that's the only Pokemon you're allowed to use for the whole game, is, you know, the ones you caught first in every single route. And with it being random, the Pokemon we get is completely random, down to even the starter we get, which is pretty awesome. And then you also have to nickname each Pokemon, just so you get more attached to it, and if said Pokemon faints, then it has to be put in the box and replaced with something else from your box. So, if something faints, it's considered dead, you're not allowed to use it. Alright, let's hop into here. It's going to tell me the internal battery has run dry. Alright, we're going to zip through this using the speed up feature and see what Professor Birch has. Professor Birch has a Glalie. Alright, interesting. We're going to skip through all this. Uh, we're going to name ourselves. I'm going to name myself... Let's go with Tracy. This is actually my third time um, trying to start this. I've been trying to figure out how to make it to where... Um, like, say there's only three Pokemon on Route 1. There would only be three Pokemon on Route 1, even if it's random. But I can't figure out how to do that. I don't even think it's possible. I think it just gives you random Pokemon a random amount on each route. So, I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter, but it just really threw me off when we were doing it. So we wake up in the back of the truck because Mom thought it would be amazing to toss us in the back of a truck with, um literally no support other than a couple of boxes that you can literally see shifting around so it doesn't seem like it's going to be that safe another thing that's randomized is tms are also completely randomized and so are items on the ground so we can find some really useful stuff and i'm really excited to kind of see some of the items we find uh the secret items are also going to be random the only things that aren't random i believe are going to be the hms and hms can be taught to every single pokemon no matter what, because we might not run into a water Pokemon, or we might not have the ability to catch a water Pokemon before we need Surf, which can be a big problem. So I just made them universal, able to be taught to everyone, and the time doesn't matter, so we're just going to set it to whatever that time was. Hi, Mom. Thanks for coming in my room. My room doesn't have a door. It's just an arc arcway with a staircase. And I guess Mom doesn't have a room, unless we share the same room. Eek. Um, one thing I am going to grab, because this could help us depending on what Pokemon May chooses is the potion in here. We also get a free potion in the next town up from the uh, lady who decides she's going to tell us about how the game is played. Hello. And I, there's also this nifty speed up feature like this. Yeah, I can speed up everything and it's amazing. So that'll definitely come in handy, especially with long winded battles where basically we're going up against like a Metapod that continuously uses Harden. Yeah, that's going to absolutely suck. All right, so let's go talk to this lady's daughter. She's just She just met us, you know. She'll allow us to go in her daughter's room because that's a smart thing to do. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, let's go talk to May. She's dealing with some kind of Pokemon nonsense up here. Whoops. Sped up a little too far. Ready? Kaboosh! Ran right into you. Dude, the music in this game is so awesome, though. It's probably the best in any Pokemon game series ever. In my opinion, I absolutely love the Pokemon music in the original games like this. Um, before this, the Pokemon music was not that great. Like, Fire Red and Leaf Green was meh. Um, Red, Blue, Yellow, Green if you played it, I guess. And uh, Gold, Silver, and Crystal weren't that great. These games were s just stunning. Absolutely loved it. And now we get to go rescue Professor Birch from Apuchiana, despite the fact that this kid is just sitting here and watching it, and despite the fact that he had a Glalie about 30 seconds ago when he introduced us and welcomed him us to town so i don't know where that clay lee went <clears throat> the poochiana itself by the way is not randomized so that's an oof but um what is randomized i believe is what wally's starter is going to be and he's going to keep it for the whole game all right looks like we have tangela umbreon and ratata uh that's an obvious choice we're gonna go with umbreon <laughs> do 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 Hello, we have Umbreon. Umbreon is definitely going to be a good Pokemon to have. I believe the um, saving grace move it's going to know is Sand Attack. What was the other Pokemon in the bag? 
Uh oh. I forgot because one of them is going to be Maze Starter. Eek. Alright. Yep, we're going to go see you. Uh, there was a Tangela, and then there was something just absolutely horrible that I did not want. And I think the absolutely horrible one is the one that May's going to have, so... So that's good. Which means we shouldn't need to do any actual training up until then. Uh, let's go ahead and name you your male. Um... Hmm... Let me think on this a minute. I think we're going to go for the basic nickname of Shadow, to be honest. Yeah, I think that's a, that's a good name for a Umbreon. Shadow, there we go. Boop. Yep, and then we get to go say hi to Mei, right? Because she's on Route 103. Yes. Okay, so in this video, we get to hopefully get three encounters, battle some trainers... And, um, we should also be able to see what, um, Wally's first Pokemon is gonna be. Alright, let's see what one of the first Pokemon we're gonna get on this route's gonna be. Now, the Nuzlocke does not start until we get Pokeball, so if we lose the trainer battle with May, then that doesn't really matter too much. And I guess we're not gonna run into a single Pokemon there, so it still gets to be a surprise. I'm gonna speed this up, and you're gonna give me a potion. Thank you so much. And then we can go heal up the Pokemon here at this Pokemon Center, because if we do happen to lose to May, I would rather spawn here than all the way back at my house. You know, it's funny how nice this lady is, in air quotes, because she literally says, We hope to see you again. It's like, gee, thanks. If I come here, it's because my Pokemon got really hurt. So, you're such a sweet lady. And then we're going to go all the way up here. Another one of the additions this uh, ROM I have does is uh, we get to run indoors with the running shoes, which is absolutely awesome. First encounter of the playthrough, and it's a Magnemite. That's actually not terrible. I am going to run to make sure I'm staying at full health for this um, battle with May here. That I hope I win. If I win, that'd be an amazing uh, feat. Because I don't remember what the other Pokemon other than Tangela was, but I think it was something very, very bad. Or not very bad, but just something not great. All right, let's see here. Please don't beat me. I would love to not lose this battle. Do, 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 do. Okay, so you did pick Tangela. I don't ne know necessarily what Tangela knows. Uh, Move-wise, hopefully it's... Oh, jeez. Oh, man. No, come on. <laughs> don't sleep powder us. That'd be awful. Let's lower your defense a little bit because... uh, Yeah, I don't want to sit here for six years. Oh, uh, you know, constrict... Ah, oh, that doesn't do too much. Okay. We're gonna use Tail Whip two or three times. Defense fell. Missing your sleep powders. Perfect. Love it. Ah, uh, now we'll use Tackle. How much damage does that do? Not enough. Gonna be honest. Okay, so, you know Constrict, that does two damage. And you know Sleep Powder, and that's awful. So, hope let's just speed this- Oh, no, you're kidding. You know Ingrain, too? I'm speeding this up. We should still be able to win. Because we still have two potions as well. If this Pokemon doesn't wake up, there we go. Okay, so we're going to have to heal. Thank you. And you're probably going to hit me with another sleep powder. Hooray, I'm asleep. Let's, uh... Thank you. And we're just going to speed through this again. My gosh, would you wake up? Thank you. We're, like, back at normal. Luckily, I'm faster than you. This battle's gonna take... Don't you sleep powder. Oh, no! We were so close. I have to use my other potion now. I didn't want to have to use all my potions. Ugh. I mean, I guess I can risk... A tackle? Uh-oh. Okay, well, that didn't work. Constrict, yep. Eight damage to six. You use ingrain. Hooray. I think I'm gonna risk one more before healing, because even if it crits me, it should only do four. Dang it. No. Okay. I'm gonna have to use a potion here. Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, oh, okay. Bag, potion, again. Ugh. 
Okay, of course you have a tangler. Why wouldn't you have a tangler that knows sleep powder? <laughs> it's so awful and ingrained. I'm never gonna beat this thing. How much PP do I have left? Okay. Okay, we got this. There we go. Oh my gosh, that was horrible. That was awful. All right. Um, when's the next battle with May? Because I don't want to battle her, battle her again anytime soon if she keeps that tangler. That was horrible. All right, so you're gonna, we're gonna go straight to your dad's house, and then we are going to get our pokeballs, and then our journey begins. I really should have healed up. Ooh, should have healed up my Pokemon. Hopefully. Wait, does she heal your Pokemon after the battle? I feel like she does. I could be wrong. Yep, thank you, Pokeballs. Absolutely love it. Thank you. We're going to go on our journey. And the Nuzlocke has officially begun. No, 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 no. I don't want to talk to you again. Um, Pokemon, did you heal me up? No, you didn't. Okay, well, that's horrible. All right, well, we're going to go talk to Mom. She's going to give me running shoes. Thank you. And now I'm going to go talk to her so she can heal up my Pokemon. Hi, Mom. I'm home, kind of. All right, hopefully our first three encounters here aren't something with absolutely awful in, uh, capture rates. Because, man, we need to catch something good. Umbreon's good and all, but it really won't, isn't going to start learning good moves until probably like the 20s. I think it knows, it learns like something in the teens. But then other than that, I really don't know. I'm going to do these first three things of grass here. All right, what's the first one? Oh, okay. A Fero. Interesting. We got a Flying type, at least. That's cool. Um, don't do too much damage. Perfect. Does that lower my defense? Okay, I don't know what moves you know. You're kidding. I got a high dip. Well, we don't get an encounter for this one. <laughs> Dang it. How that sucks. We got a low... We got a low uh, roll on the first thing, and then we got a high roll on the second one. That is absolutely awful. All right, well, we're going to heal here just in case we happen to die, which I hope we don't. And we're going to buy some potions, and we're going to buy some Pokeballs as well from the Pokemart. Do, 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 do. And then we're going to try and catch the Route 103 and the route, route 102 Pokemon, just so we have something other than Umbreon to help us out here. If I can get to level 8, that would be nice, to be honest, because I believe we learn Sand Attack, which is really going to be helpful um, when it comes to not taking as much damage as we would like to be taking. All right, how much is everything here? We got 3300 bucks. Let me go ahead and grab 10 Pokeballs. Yeah, and then we'll spend the rest on potions. Thanks for the Premier Ball. That's actually helpful. Uh, let's see... Yeah, four potions. I feel like we're probably going to need them. Alright. Alright, let's go get the root up here real quick and see what we uh, can encounter. I don't remember if we've encountered anything. Yeah, we did. It was Magnemite. Which I guess wouldn't be terrible. What do we got? Blossom. Okay, so we have a grass type. If we can catch it. The problem is Blossom is fully evolved. That could be, um, very hard to catch. I don't know what the capture rate of this... Oh, God. Absorb. You're kidding me. Oh, boy. Luckily, it does, like, nothing. So, hopefully, you know that Absorb and, like, Growl. Because I'm just going to mess you up with Tail Whips. Because if you know Ingrain like Tangela... My gosh. I don't even know what I'm going to do if you know Ingrain. That was just a nightmare. So, you're doing two per hit. Let me use, like, five Tail Whips. I shouldn't be able to one-shot you unless I get a crit. We lost out on the Firo. Oh, Sweet Scent. Even better. Okay, you're just making me smell nice, right? For my evasiveness. My evasiveness probably isn't too great anyway, so I guess that doesn't matter. Defense fell. Yes, Aroni, it did. Sweet Scent again. Tail Whip. Thank you. Defense. Absorb. Yep. Um, let's go ahead and use one more Tail Whip, and then we're going to start tackling this thing. Because I don't want to take too many absorbs before we can catch this. The fact that it's level 4 is also very helpful. Oh, and it knows Stun Spore. Okay, that's kind of iffy. I don't like that. But I mean, as long as it doesn't... Ha! <laughs> Synchronize. That's awesome. 
Okay, well, it being paralyzed is definitely going to help us catch this thing. All right, let's use our Pokeballs. It's paralyzed and in the yellow. We honestly should be good. I cannot attack it again. Its defense is so low now that I will definitely kill it in one go. Oh, really? I didn't catch it. Interesting. And it knows Magical Leaf. What? Don't do too much damage, please. I didn't know it knew Magical Leaf. I thought it would have used it by now. It's only used Absorb. One. Oh, come on. No, don't do this to me. Do not do this to me. <laughs> Alright, um, let's use a Premier Ball. Or the Premier Ball, I should say, because we've only got the one. Come on, Blossom. I know you want to be mine. Okay, well, you really didn't in that thing, did you? Um, let's go with a Pokeball. I feel like we should leave ourselves with, like, six or seven of these things. Just, just so we can get another encounter on the other route. Although, we might be able to skip the encounter on the route if we're lucky. There is very little gla glass grass you have to walk through. Okay, this isn't, this isn't really cool of you. Just thought I'd let you know. Pokeball, oh no. What do we got? Ten left? Come on, Blossom. Oh, come on. I have to heal after this. Because if it gets a crit, then I'm doomed. Potion on Shadow. Thank you. I was hoping it would use enough absorbs for me to be able to tackle it again. But so far, it has yet to do that. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm down to eight. So I'll give it like one or two more goes after this. But that'll be it. Ah, oh, come on, Blossom. I would really enjoy having you on my team for the first gym battle. Not that it matters, actually. Having a Grass-type means nothing. Because it won't be Ground-type Pokemon, likely. Alright, come on, Pokeball. You can do it. Oh. Oh, thank God we got it. Oh my gosh. I thought we weren't going to get another Pokemon, and I was so scared that we uh, would have to take on the entire first route of trainers... With only Umbreon. Um, give a nickname to Blossom? Yes. Uh, let's name you... Oh, perfect. You're female. Uh, so let's go ahead and name you... Hmm. Let's go, if it'll fit anyway. Alright, we're gonna go with Flower Girl. Because it is a female, so we can go ahead and do that. Uh, let's go ahead and heal up our Pokemon, and then we're gonna actually go into the next route to get our encounter... Our next one, anyway. And, um, Blossom actually knows, um, whatever it's called. So, that'll really help us out. Um, Stun Spore in catching this Pokemon. So, let's go ahead, and we're gonna go up here, and we're gonna get our next encounter real quick. What do we got here? I'll do it on the first two blades of grass again, in case I need to hop out pretty quick. Uh, oh boy, a Metag- <laughs> Not a Metagross, really? How am I supposed to take down a Metagross? I sure as heck can't do it with Shadow. There's no way. Um, I'm going to have to pull out Blossom. Because I can't take it down with Tackles. I'm going to have to paralyze this thing straight off the bat. Go, Flower Girl. What do you got? Confusion? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. That did not do as much as I thought it did. Flower Girl, you Stun Sport. Thank you. The problem is it's going to three hit me. If I continue attacking it. Oh, no scary face. Perfect. What is that lower? My speed. But you are paralyzed, so that does not matter. Magical Leaf. How much damage is this going to do? You're a steel type, so probably not a ton. Okay. So the problem is, is I can't swap out uh, for Umbreon. Because that confusion is going to do a ton of damage to me, I think. I, I think, anyway. What am I doing? Why am I not using Absorb to get my health back up? I know Absorb sucks, but I mean, I could really use that 5 HP. There we go. Woo! 1 HP. That's amazing. Love that. Uh-oh. It's hitting me with another confusion. Please don't crit. If it crits, like, it's game over for Blossom already. I really should still be using Magical Leaf. Please continue to use Scary Face on me. 
Oh, what? Not a takedown. Oh, my gosh. Oh, that was way too scary. Okay, bag. We need to heal up Blossom again. So it knows confusion, takedown, scary face, and something else. Um, I'm going to hit you with one more magical leaf. And then I'm going to try and catch you. Because if it uses takedown again, it'll put it, put itself into the red or something. Takedown. Yep. You're going to put yourself down pretty low. And you're only doing five damage to me, which is also very nice. Um, we have seven Pokeballs to work with. The problem is, is Metagross has such a high capture rate. The odds of us getting this are very slim. I mean, Beldum itself has a huge capture rate. So I don't think we're going to do very good. But I am going to absorb this one more time. I guess the good news is, is if we have to kill it, we are going to get a huge amount of XP. Confusion, sure, we can take that. And down to Pokeballs, we have six, and we can use every last one of them on this if we need to. Because we don't need a new encounter until after we battle all these trainers. No way. Oh, I thought we had it. Oh, that was, that would have been amazing. If we get a Metagross on our team, we're going to be pretty set for a while. And it is paralyzed and in the red. The problem is, is it's Pokeballs. Two. No, didn't get it. I will use everything we've got on this uh, Metagross if I have to. I'm... You're kidding me! No! We lost a Pokemon already! I can't... It got a crit! Okay, we get to use one more Pokeball here, and then I don't think... I don't think I can handle another Confusion. Shadow cannot take a Confusion, I don't think. Uh-oh. If it doesn't hit us. Metal Claw too? What are you doing with all these moves? Okay, as long as it doesn't hit us, I'm kind of hoping for a takedown so it does more damage to itself. Takedown, please. Ah, oh, there you go. Nice. Don't crit me. And it hit itself um, with recoil, which is also nice. We have two Pokeballs left. Come on. Ah, uh, Takedown again would be cool. Oh, oh, it didn't even affect me. Wait a minute, okay. I'm gonna use... No, that was stupid. Why would I do that? I'm kind of hoping it uses Takedown. There we go. Okay, now this is as good as it gets. If I can't capture it now, I was never gonna capture it in the first place. Come on, fingers crossed. No! <laughs> well, we're about to get a high XP yield off this, and we are already down to only one Pokemon. That is awful. Okay. Uh, well, we already have to go into the PC and drop off Bilossum. It got a lucky crit. That is so awful. Why? I was so hyped to have a Blossom on my team. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and nickname this box. Um, dead. Let's see. Lowercase. Alright. And in Blossom goes... Ah, oh, Blossom, you were nice while you lasted. I was so excited to have the ability to stun people as well. Oh, man. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and train up Umbreon a bit in between videos. We've done our first encounters, and next video we're going to go ahead and probably battle all these trainers and get to the next gym and see what Wally gets. But I'd like to thank all of you guys for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Comment down below. Uh, rip for Blossom already. And as always, subscribe if you're new. And I will catch all of you guys in the next one. Peace.